DC traction motors have the property of reversibility, i.e. have a mode in which they can operate as generators of electricity. In other words, they can convert electricity into mechanical energy, and vice versa. And if, for example, we disconnect the power of the engine and close it at a lower resistance, the counter-electromotive force in the closed circuit of the armature winding will generate large current, which will create a breaking moment in the engine, directed against its rotation, so that the engine will shut down quickly. This effect is used for electronic braking, most often on electric transport. In the usual mode, a train gets its energy from an overhead system. The electric engine accelerates the train set. But when a train needs to be slowed down, or when there is a movement down the slope, it involves an electric braking mode. The train set not only reduces speed, but also the engine becomes a generator and produces a current that is converted into heat energy in resistors, charges the battery or returns the overheated system. For the engine to switch from traction motor to a generator mode, the EMF in the armature winding has to become higher than the applied voltage, i.e. the voltage in the overheated system. There are several types of electric braking depending on the method of conversion of the received energy. The two main types are rheostat and regenerative braking. When rheostat braking is applied, the generated energy is absorbed on the rolling stock itself in brake rheostats, creating an additional braking torque on the machine shaft. Upon this, the engine is connected from the overheated system and ends of the amateur winding or field winding switch. The advantage of this method is that the process does not depend on the voltage. The electricity consumer is on the vehicle. The second type of braking is regenerative braking. In this case, the generated energy is returned to the overheated system. This energy is consumed by electronic locomotives that are located in the same area and are working in traction mode. If there are no electronic locomotives or they need less energy than the is generated, then the so-called regeneration excess energy is sent to the grid via inverters converting direct current to alternating three-phase current which are installed at the traction substation. Likewise, the current can be directed to recharging of the batteries. This is used in hybrid and electric cars. Use of generation gives a great effect. In some areas with sleeve slopes, there can be saved up to 20% electrical energy consumed for train traction. There is also a maced rear start regenerative braking type. This is the smoothest braking. The types switch on successfully, depending on the conditions. This makes it possible to combine advantages of each type. For example, it is often used in commuter trains. Due to electric braking wear of brake shoes and rolling stock wheels is also greatly reduced, resulting in much reduced metal consumption and repair costs of wheel sets. Besides, in this braking mode, wheels are less prone to skidding and jamming. Apart from electronic locomotives, electric braking is used on other electric transport, underground, trams and trolleybuses, as well as on the cranes and rolling mills.